So you want an infinitely variable flashlight, but you don't want to drop five bills on a Surefire U2. Well, I had a KL1 head lying around, also from Surefire. Any of the KL heads should work for this setup. And what gives the light its infinite variability is a Orion Moon filter, which I picked up on eBay for about $25. If you do a search for a telescope filter, you should be able to find something similar. If your eBay search doesn't turn out to be fruitful, you can do a Google search for a variable moon filter, and you'll find several retailers selling them new for about $30. What brings these two items together is a plastic bottle cap, which I got from a Dasani 12-ounce bottle. I drilled the center of the cap and then slowly cut away the meat of the top until it fits snugly on the KL1 head. This process took me about 10 minutes. Remember kids, cut away from yourself, not towards. Once the top is removed, the bottom part should screw smoothly onto the moon filter with no modifications at all. You can see it's holding on nicely there. And because it's a custom cut, the top fits snugly on the KL1 head. And the width of the cap is, is just such that the flashlight and the filter do not bump up against each other. So you can see the ring at the top of the filter slides smoothly while everything else holds snug. And that's all there is to building your own variable output flashlight on the cheap.